<laughs> Praise the Lord. Brother Hype Man here, a.k.a. Brother Junior, formerly known as the Wretched Knuckle, and my brother says, Turn our Bibles to Philippians chapter 4. We'll be looking at verse 11, and it reads, Not that I speak in respect of want, for I have learned in whatsoever state I am, therewith to be content. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading, to the hearing, to the admission, to the application, to the distribution of this great word taken from the greatest book that man could ever possess. And my brother, is God's word. We give God all the honor, all the glory, all the praise in the precious name of his son, our Lord. Say, praise the Lord. Amen. <laughs> 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 Praise the Lord. Brothers and sisters, we see in the Apostle Paul closing this beautiful letter of Philippians in chapter 4 of his letter, where he says that he has learned a powerful principle and established truth. Remember, this is the year 2022. 2022 being teachable. Teach me, O Lord, teach me. Where we see in Psalm chapter 25, verse 4 and 5, where David writes, Show me thy way, O Lord. Teach me thy path. Lead me to thy truth, O Lord. Teach me, for you're the God of my salvation, and I will wait on you all the day long. And we know that waiting is a position where the believer of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is, is with God. That is, he's around God and, 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 and is, he's in God and God is teaching through the, the believer of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. So while the, the Apostle Paul, a gospel grace believer, gospel grace preacher, gospel grace uh, 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 teacher, when, when, when he's in a low level dungeon uh, 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 you know, for, for two years, because he was preaching and teaching the gospel of grace, and, and, and they, they put him in a, 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 a low-level dungeon for two years. And, 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 and during that time, he, 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 he said, and he's not like actually just because, uh, uh, you know, because like of some physical want. No, he, he learned through that whole experience to, 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 to be content. And, and, and content speaks of, and when it comes to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, where the Apostle Paul was thankful, where the, gospel, the Apostle Paul was grateful, where the, gospel, where the Apostle Paul was so appreciative of, 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 of Abba Father and, and, and his son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and the finished work, what he did on the cross, and the impact that it had on his life, where he, he was saved by believing on our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and, and he could be content, where he's been forgiven of all his sins, past, present, and future, and he could be content with, 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 with Abba Father, to his son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and that he has now life and life more abundantly, even, even when he's writing this letter in a, in a, a low-level dungeon uh, 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 just because he was preaching and teaching the gospel of grace and awaiting uh, to see the king. And, 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 and he was just he learned to just be content. And when, and learned where he, he was so appreciative of God, he felt that, you know, when, when, when you have God, when you have our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, you have everything, no matter what you don't have. But when you don't have God, when you don't have our Lord and Savior and soon coming to Jesus Christ, you don't got nothing more no matter what you do have. And so we see the Apostle Paul in a position where he is content. Even, even in a low-level dungeon. And unfairly put in a low-level dungeon just because he was preaching, teaching, sharing, ministering, proclaiming the gospel of grace. And he learned to be content. And, and that learning came from the Holy Spirit of God. And so he's writing this encouraging letter to, to, to the believers at, 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 at Philippi. This idea of being content in Christ Jesus. And, 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 and when you're content in Christ Jesus, you ain't going to look at nobody else. You ain't going to be jealous of nobody else. Because when you're not content with, with, with our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, you become discontent. And you start looking at other people. You start looking at other uh, 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 outside from Jesus Christ. 
And that's a place where you could, you could, you could, you could get angry, you could get bitter, you could get envious, you, you could, you could say, hey, why, how come I don't have that? And why did I not have that? And you, 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 you fall out of being content and you become discontent. And, and, and when, 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 you, when you have like that jealous eye and you're not appreciative and thankful and grateful for uh, the things that our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ did and the finished work what he did on the cross, you, uh, and you allow jealousy to come, that is a, a, a saying that you're not mad at the, 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 that person. You're mad at our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. You're mad at our Abba Father. But when you're content, mm, when you, when you know that he's forgiven you of all your sins, past, present, and future, when you know he has saved you with an eternal salvation and, 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 and he loves you with an agape love, and in that, in that experience, in that mindset, you can learn to be content. We see in, 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 in uh, James, uh, 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 another gospel grace preacher uh, 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 of the New Testament, when he writes in his letter, uh, uh, James, in chapter 3, he closes it off and, 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 and about, about, you know, when, when, when believers use their mouth in, a, in, in a, um, an ungodly manner and say that, that it rises up with bitter and envy and, 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 and discontent and, 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 and strife. And, and, when, and when there's envy, strife, and discontent, there is all the evil work of the kingdom of darkness. He even goes on to say that that kind of wisdom, that kind of wisdom when, when you're jealous, when you stop being content in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and the finished work, what he did on the cross, when you got that kind of wisdom, he calls that wisdom, that's a wisdom from the fallen world. That is a kind of wisdom from an uncircumcised flesh. And that kind of wisdom comes from the kingdom of darkness. But the wisdom that comes from above, that comes from our Abba Father, that comes from the finished work, what our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ did on the cross, that wisdom, the Apostle James, he calls it, he calls that wisdom pure. He calls that wisdom peaceable. He calls that wisdom, uh, 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 he calls that wisdom gentle. He calls that wisdom accommodating. He calls that wisdom merciful. He calls that wisdom of good fruit. He calls that wisdom, uh, 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 it, 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 it's, it's impartial. It don't got no partiality. And he calls that wisdom, it ain't got no hypocrisy. Uh, watch this. And the fruits of righteousness that, that's, that, that's outwardly manifested, that's outwardly expressed, comes from someone who's at peace. And there's no more person that's in peace that is content than our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And we see the Apostle James, a gospel great preacher, lining up to even what the Apostle Paul said. Uh, uh, about how to 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 uh, to, to conquer these uh, uh, feelings of, of bitterness and jealousy and 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 being discontent, he says. James says it in the fourth chapter of his beautiful letter, where he says, "Submit to God. Submit to your Abba Father. Be content in the finished work what His Son, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, did on the cross. And when you do that, you resist the devil." And he will flee. And when that happens, God is glorified. Hey, <laughs> you are content and edified. And praise the Lord. The kingdom of darkness is nullified. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord's face shine upon you. May the Lord lift up his God to you. May the Lord give you his feet. And I command you all to God and to the word of his grace, which is able to build you up an inheritance to those who are sanctified. In the precious name of his Son, our Lord, say, Jesus Christ, say amen. And out to him that is able to keep you from all and present you for us in the presence of his God. Both glory. Mercy, dominion, power, both now, forever, both. Praise the Lord, amen. I got to look for parking. <laughs> but be ye content in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. I got to look for parking. <laughs> <laughs>